Dang, it's off-centered. Frick. My life's a mess. No one loves me. Are we good yet? Focus. Hi. I don't have an intro, but I don't even care. So, yes, I got accepted into the Disney College program. Uh, and I know that that is very basic. That's what everyone says. But I am so freaking excited. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I've applied three times, and on my third time I got in. So I wanted to do another video of like what to do when you're stuck in applied or submission or whatever it's called now, because I've been in the, your shoes, and I see a lot of people offering advice, and everyone's a little different. So obviously, you know, take my advice with a grain of salt. But I actually did a video about this about a couple years ago on another one of my YouTube channels that I'm not going to use anymore. I decided I'm just going to do everything on this channel. So I'm going to get over there right now. I'm just going to keep the name Tyson and Stitch because that's the name of it because it's mine and I love it. But anyway, so I, I had one called what to do if you are in progress. And I just want to see what I said. Oh, I guess it was only a year ago. I want to see what I said a year ago. <laughs> I mean, that's all you really need to do. Just eat, 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 and eat. <laughs> just know that they're probably all crap. Okay, so in progress, it sucks. You know, you just want to know you're accepted so you can pick up dates. And around this time, a lot of people have been getting accepted. So you're starting to worry. Could you not? What happens is that we start to worry, saying, like, if we haven't been accepted now, it's probably the end of the world. So that bothered me a lot in my last, not my last program, but my first program, I noticed that people would wait like two weeks. And as soon as someone got accepted, everyone just lost their mind. They were like, well, frick, if one person got accepted and it wasn't me, I'm gonna die. There is a reason that this application process is so long. Okay, like 25,000 people apply at the bare minimum. So it's gonna take a while. Maybe they were like the very first person to apply and they literally like cured cancer and have 15 years of experience as a cashier. Who, who knows? The number one tip that I'm going to stay, and I'm going to stand by this forever, is be patient. Don't complain on Facebook groups to your mom, to your cat. Okay, you can complain to your mom or your cat. That's fine. But like, it's not the end of the world. I know it feels that way, and I did too. I can't. I don't know why I'm telling people this. But now that I've been accepted, I'm going to sound like a jerk. But it's not worth it to get all, like, worked up over this. Like, oh, I'm not going to get in. And then get in or not get in. You just wasted so much of your life. Like, I know it's something that you really want to do. But <laughs> I can't tell you how ununique that is to just kind of complain on the groups. I feel like a jerk for saying that, but everyone is going through that feeling. You aren't the only one. You can seek some friends out there um, because like, they're probably going through the same crap that you are doing, but don't be like, oh, woe is me. I'm the only one that's not going to get accepted. Just live your life and don't let Disney control you. Where is my email? How could this happen to me? I made my mistake. You know, at the end of the day, you can listen to me, but you can still complain about it to all yourself as you want, as long as you're healthy about it. I, I don't know why I'm telling you that, because I've been just laying in my bed this whole time crying. I really, I really don't know why I'm offering advice to you guys. Uh, someone said that I should since I got in, but I've done the same things as you guys are. I was I was freaking out, and I just wanted to get in. So, I'm going to tell you what everyone else does, but I think... Honestly, if you look at it, this is like everything in life. Not everyone's going to succeed and a lot of people are going to fail. So you just need to realize that you put in as much as you can and you're going to get out of it what you can. Even if you don't get in and you've tried seven times and haven't gotten in, it's a really good process to go through because it's nerve wracking, first of all, and you're going to... Disney isn't the end of the world. You can apply for anything else. You can also apply for professional internships, which do the same thing. At least you'll have gone through the process a couple of times. Um, 
another thing to not stress about is like your resume or what you typed in because once it's out there it's out there there's no point in stressing out about that you can cringe at yourself at three in the morning about how you accidentally farted on your phone interview that's fine but it's out there they recorded it it's probably on twitter now you're probably famous for making an idiot yourself but it's over okay just let it go no don't let it go i gotta change that just let it be won't get copyrighted disney if you've ever been to Disney World, and I'm guessing the majority of you have, if you're looking at this video, you see how most of the workers are super happy and upbeat, even if it's in a bad situation. Because that's what Disney likes. That's very true. I remember my recruiter asking a lot about how I would do, um, not my recruiter, my phone interview person, asked me what I would do in hard situations. And I have a lot of experience as a cashier, so I put up with a lot of crap from people. And honestly, all you have to say is like, I just am happy to be able to help make experiences for everyone else. And it's not about you. So don't try and make it about you. Make it about how like you're just there to create like this happiness that what Disney resembles. So um if you haven't taken your phone interview yet, I would focus kind of on that. But this is for people that are in applied and uh, in progress, so you probably are already done with that. So, or I guess it's it called under review now. Screw it. I'm not with the old, new times. We call it a wave because it's like a wave of acceptance. You know, it's cool. As time, they're not even setting them out in waves anymore. They're just doing it as the applications come through. So don't even worry about that. On, you'll kind of realize that wow, this went by faster than I thought. At least that works for me. Things will work out differently for you. Go back over here. Another thing you can do while you're in progress is just kind of figure out what to do just in case you don't get accepted. Yes, this, a lot of YouTubers don't really talk about this. They just tell you not to worry about it. Make a plan B or C. Like, just, you don't have to be very, like, strong about it. But, like, I again, I've applied... This is my third time and I finally got in. I had to figure out what I would do if I didn't get in and I didn't plan anything. I was just like, it's Disney or bust and I busted. So I was literally no job, wasn't even in co Oh, I guess I was in college. Uh, shoot. Well, I just didn't have a job and I really just thought I was going to go to Disney because I thought, you know, I was perfect and everything. So you don't have to be super like detailed to write 50 million pages, but like if you don't get in, what are you going to do for that next ha half a year until the next applications drop? Just so you can survive until then, because and then if you do get in, you can be like, screw it, I'm going to Disney World. And if you don't get in, be like, okay, at least I know what I'm going to do until the next one comes out. Because if you don't, you're going to be so far behind. And I did that. Don't be like me. You don't want to start having all of these Disney plans made friends and being like, do you want to go meet Stitch? Yeah, I want to meet Stitch. Yeah, yeah. And then one of you is rejected. Words to live by. I think it's... I'm I'm such a jerk, but I think it's so funny when people, like, the first day are like, So when we all get accepted, who wants to go to this, this, and this? And then they get this huge list of people that are going to go with them. And then, like, two people get accepted. <laughs> I'm a horrible person, but why in the world would you make plans with people? <laughs> like, first of all, maybe they're going to Disneyland, or you're going to Disney World. Like, they're not... <laughs> I don't know. That was just me, I'm, I'm a horrible person, but please don't make plans until you know you're gonna get in there, because it's just gonna make you feel worse. If it's with your roommate, like, who lives with you, and you're both just applying together, and you already know each other, so even if you don't get in, it's not gonna be this awkward situation. That's different, but like, don't meet people and be like, so let's go meet this character and then do this on our first day and this and this, and plan this whole thing out, because if one or both of you don't get in, you just wasted your life. I'm sorry, but you're gonna feel way worse. Everyone's gonna hate me. This is crap. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. There's nothing wrong with making friends through this. So I don't, not trying to contradict myself, but don't make friends just to go hang out at Disney World. Like, be like, oh, you like Disney, so do I. Like, let's hang, like, let's message sometimes. And even if they live like half across the world, like, you just made a new friend. So do it not just to hang out, but do it because, you know, it's a good way to meet friends because I don't really have any. Okay, so basically, what this whole video is talking about that's probably gone way on too long is that three things don't stress, make friends, don't get too detailed until you get in. That's it. That's really all you need to do. Because 
It's just, like, I, I, it's fun to daydream. Go ahead and daydream. I mean, obviously. But I just, I always feel bad inside when these people have so many plans and then they get a rejection letter because they didn't get in. And now they have to wait, meet new people, and do the whole process over again in hopes of actually getting in. So, that's just my advice. Um, if I can add anything new from my previous self is, um, you know, just be there. Be as flexible if you haven't taken your web-based interview or, or your phone interview be as flexible as you're willing to go you know a lot of people really don't want to do like quick food service and whatever it's called um and when they asked me if i'd be open to doing quick food and custodial work my exact answer was that was not one of my higher uh interests in a or that is not one of the roles that I'd be highly interested in, but I would rather accept one of those roles than not be accepted at all. And she said that was awesome. So don't, because I, I would love to work there if it meant I got to keep working at Disney World. So uh, the only thing I was, wasn't comfortable with was lifeguards, lifeguarding, because I don't really want to be 100% in charge of your little kids. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then when you take the web-based interview, I know a lot of people... Um, oof. so if you're an applied and you get to the web-based interview, yay! So here's some things about it. Everyone, I've only heard two things. It's either don't be 100% honest, like obviously you know the answers that Disney wants to hear. Um, and the second one is only answer like highly po uh, agree or highly disagree. I didn't do either of those, which sounds horrible. But like, you know the answers what Disney wants to hear. Yes, I am... It, it'll ask you if you're like a clean person or whatever and I'm gonna be honest sometimes I mess up and screw up but Disney doesn't it doesn't leave room that the survey the web-based interview doesn't leave room for you to be like not really but I always try to keep it clean they don't that's not what they're listening for they're seeing that oh he only does it 50% of the time mark down so if you are 100% positive that you were going to make a big effort to be a cleaner person, mark down highly satisfied. It's not really lying. It's just, if you say that, oh yeah, I, you know, sometimes I do have a messy room and you put disagree, like, they don't want that. They want someone who can prove to them that they're going to clean up after themselves. And the second of all is, there are some times where the answers kind of make you look bad either way you answer it. One of the questions was that you put your job in front of the customers and that or some something like that and I was like holy crap if I say I disagree that means I don't want to do my job and then if I say I uh, agree it means I don't want to care about the customer so you, it would be like a lose-lose situation so those are the ones where you can kind of go in the middle or a little bit or less I put disagreed slightly because I like I want to do my job but I'm not gonna just ditch everything so I don't have to help a customer so Honestly, just fit the question that you think that Disney's going to want to hear that you are willing to do yourself. Because if you lie completely and get up there, and you're not who you said you were... That's your fault, boo. Alright, well, I think that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I actually haven't been a cast member yet, so if you need some questions about what it's like down there, don't talk to me yet. Talk to me in January. I'm so excited! Okay, well, if you have any other... Um, comments, ideas, things that you want me to talk about or want me to do, I'd be glad to. Uh, just let me know. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, and if you're still implied, I'm rooting for you so that you can come down and take flawless pictures of me. Bye! Why did I kiss? Ew, bro. I got cooties.